Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock it with the best. You heard? Give me a second, people, good champions. Give me a chance to uh, invite a few people here. Can you dig it? Shout out to all you guys, man. Shout out to all you guys tuning in. We got we to chop it up on some, some real good shit here. Some, some powerful stuff that'll help you guys sell more products, sell more stuff, sell more shiznit. Peace and love to all you guys out there. See the room piling in. I'm just inviting a few more people and then we gotta get right into it. So while I'm uh, inviting a few people, tell me where you guys are at right now. Tell me what city you guys are in. I'd love to know. Shout out to you, Pierre, uh, Jennifer, Melissa Lang. What up? David, Jacinta, salute to you guys. Iwilla Henson, peace and love to all you guys. Tell me where you guys are, uh, are tuning in from. What city, what state, where y'all repping? Where are you guys repping? Ooh, we got Ohio in the building. What's good? <laughs> Dude, you see me live, man. Can you give me? Can you chill, 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 chill? You swear he had some of my coffee. Fuck, <laughs> son, right here, y'all. Okay, oh, we got Lafayette in the building. Ah, yes, Dallas. What up, Dallas? Uh, Texas in the building. Deville, where's Deville? What are you calling about? Like Brownsville, Brooklyn, or something? Uh, talk, talk to me. Chicago in the building, Wisconsin, yes. Janesville. I've been to Janesville, Wisconsin before too. So that's what's up, man. Shout out to all you guys. Say hello to everybody. Hello. Yeah. All right. Don't you got something to do? No, we're not going to. My bed. my my son and my wife went to go see Black Panther without me. So yeah, that means. You were sleeping. Yeah, I was sleeping. They went to the seven thirty in the morning, uh, show. I'm doing this. I ain't getting that up. I ain't getting up early like that to go watch the movie. That's what Black Panther did. Yeah. Okay. And he did this. Nice. And he, and he, and he, come <laughs> out here and he did this. Hey, Melissa says hi from Wisconsin. Say hi, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. <laughs> call call you later tonight, Jacinta. I got you. Yeah. Shout out to all you guys. Peace. Love and happiness to you guys. We are going to chop it up real quick on the four languages of selling more stuff. Okay, so I hope you guys are ready. You guys can use this in any business. We said <laughs> Wakanda forever, no doubt. I'm a, I'm gonna probably go see it tonight. Um, you know, since we're on here, let's let's talk a little bit about uh, what's going on in the atmosphere, the current situation, right? Take the phone. Go go hang out with mommy for a second. So I can talk some stuff. You mind? Nah, he ain't going nowhere. So in current atmosphere, right, we have the shooting that went on in where was that? Uh Florida, right? We had a mass shooting that went on in Florida. Um in Chicago, here in Chicago, there was a commander, a police commander that was shot six times, I believe. Um it's you know, that, that's the atmosphere that's going on right now, right? So, um, and then Black Panther, the movie been released, breaking all kind of records, right? So, you know, that, that, that's where we are today, at, in today's atmosphere. So let's get right into it. The four languages of selling more stuff, man. You can use this. Hello, Allison, how you doing? You can use this in any business now, you can use, I would suggest you use all four of them. The reason is you don't want to leave any of your customers out, right? So if you can see right behind me, it might be a little bit blurry or whatever. But the first one will be visual. Visual is, let, let, let's just take a, a, a song, right? The song can affect you a certain way. But when you see the actual video being rolled out, 
that can make you love the song on a whole different level, right? Um, let's take a song that's out right now that's uh, charting right now, which is uh, God's Plan with uh, Drake. Drake giving out a million dollars and stuff, right? During that whole video. That video gave people a different look, a different perception of what Drake is able to do, right? Um, him giving out money to people, um, donating cars and stuff like that during the video. You wouldn't be able to see that if you were just listening to the song. So you have to realize about 40%, 40 to 60% of people are visual. So if you're rolling out some type of presentation, some type of plan, or you're selling something, you always want to incorporate some type of visuals. That's graphics. That's maybe a commercial, a video, uh, pictures, anything like that. The next one is going to be auditory. That's basically sound. No, you can't play that here. Go on, mommy. Thank you. That was nice seeing you. Enjoy. This guy. So, um, so yeah. Then you go into sound. Sound basically. Um, this is this is where you would create. How can I say? A storytelling situation so that would be like when i used to sell health club memberships right when i would sell health club memberships i would tell them how great the club was right and they'll say oh yeah we have x amount of treadmills we have a jacuzzi we have a pool we have you know personal trainers that's to that person we have 3600 members they're registering a lot of that information through their auditory, through their ears, all right? Then I take them upstairs, and that's when they actually get the visual. That's when they actually see the treadmills and they see people working out, and they see uh, people in the jacuzzi in the pool and getting into better shape. So now you just, I just incorporated, or Valley Total Fitness taught me how to incorporate auditory and visual. Now then you go into uh, kinesthetic. Kinesthetic is the person that is hands-on. This is a, I'll probably say, this is when you hear people say, I'm more of a hands-on type of person, right? You'll probably get about 20 to 30% of people that are hands-on. These are people that they don't want to look at the car. They don't want to hear about the car. They want to test drive the car. This is the person you say, all right, let's give it a test drive. Take the key, you put the key in his hand. Now he has it. Now he's turning the ignition on. He's grabbing hold of the steering wheel, revving it up, seeing, you know, seeing the, the power in the vehicle. And then he takes it around the block a couple of times. You're catering to that person now. Shout out to you guys. Uh, Laquaman, I hope I'm saying that right. Greg Matthews, Kimberly, shout out to you. Salute, salute. Um, so this is the person that is more hands on, right? he needs to touch it she needs to touch it she needs to see how it works this is the person that has to grab a cell phone right they have to grab the cell phone in and swipe it a couple of times go on um you know see how fast a browser is they are very very house on uh hands on okay good <laughs> so that is the kinesthetic person, right? Then you have the auditory digital person. This is the person that goes by analytical and statistical facts. Some people only gravitate towards what are the numbers? You know, one billion burgers sold. That is McDonald's, right? Wow, a billion burgers sold. Those are numbers. They need stats. They need statistics. That's why, oh man, if I had one in front of me, you'll see uh, nutrition facts, right? Nutrition facts on certain things that you you eat and drink. You have stati statistical facts. These are for the uh, auditory digital people. They have to see stats. They have to see numbers. They got to know how many grams they're putting in to their body. How many, um, you know, grams of fat, calories, 
you know, protein, they need to see that. Not only that, then they get to hold the bottle, hands on. Visually, they have a nice label around whatever it is, right? And then auditory that, you know, they might roll out a commercial or two on the radio. So I hope that uh, helps you guys out. The four languages to sell more stuff. If you can incorporate the visual, which is pictures, graphics, commercials, anything like that, auditory, where maybe you might have like a little bit of a podcast or uh, you're speaking and stuff like that. Um, kinesthetic, which would be hands-on, if you can get people to be more hands-on. Like hands-on, like right now, we could do something hands-on if you wanted to say, if I said, hey, what I'm about to tell you right now is extremely important. I suggest you get a pen and paper right now because I will be deleting this video. There are people, the hands-on people will literally go out there and grab a pen and they will grab some paper. These, it like, they won't even second guess it. They're on it. Those are the hands-on people. And then you have the auditory digital people. Those are the ones that are gonna, hey, who have done this? Who's used this before? What are the statistics? How, how effective is this? Oh, shout out to you, Kimberly. Kimberly said, uh, true. Uh, Danae Mosley, shout out to you. Barbara Porterfield, Cherie, shout out to you. I hope this is making sense to you guys. Um, because I, I've been a sales for over 15 years. I call myself the humble hip hop sales coach only because I know I've mastered sales, but I still am learning because customers are getting smarter. Customers are always getting smarter. They can research you. They can find out about you all the time. You know, they can find multiple businesses that do the same thing you do. How are you going to differentiate yourself from the other businesses? Now, here's another thing that you probably got, you guys probably didn't know. Do you know only 10% of people care about the price? Only 10%. So when you're thinking about, wow, my price is too much, or these people need to come down on their price, that's not true. Only 10% of people care about price. You say in a combination of two and three? Not sure what that means. Explain for me, uh, Ms. Henson. So what you need to do is build value. Value is where you break it down. Value is where it, the, the, the nook and cranny of it. It's not the price. Think about it. Cell phones used to only be $100, $200 max. Now they're selling, they're selling cell phones like it's like you financing a car, right? But if the cell phone can make your life easier and makes you feel significant, and I, I'm, I'm going to go over that in my Profit or Perish 2.0 video, um, actually a workshop that I'm putting together. So I definitely suggest you guys take a part of that. But Cell phones are being sold right now for like astronomical prices, $600, $800,000. Now, and they know these phones aren't worth that much. That's why nowadays you're seeing them say, hey, buy one phone, we'll throw another one in there for you, you know, for free. So it's not about the price. People are not buying the new iPhone because it's the cheapest. People are not buying the latest Android phone, the, the, the Note 8, because it's so inexpensive to buy. They're buying it because of the value it brings to their life. They're buying it because it makes their life easier. You understand? Does that make any sense to you guys? So, yep, uh, Jacinta said, yep, because you can talk someone into a price if you're good. Absolutely. Auditory and kinesthetic yes so that's what that's what it is it's like that's why they want you to touch the phone 
right? They want you to play around and swipe it, and they tell you about the features. You, you'll never, if you went to Sprint or T-Mobile, price is almost like the last thing you look at. What are, what are going to be my monthly payments? That's the last thing you ask. The problem with the cell phone industry right now, they're not pushing enough value into the new features of the phone. How is it going to make, maybe they need to hire a hip hop sales coach for that. You know what I mean? But that's what it is with that. Uh, let me see any quick announcement for you guys, man. How are you guys doing today, by the way? How are you guys doing? I hope everything is going well. Kind of looking over my journal here. I got all my notes and stuff. But um, quick announcement, though. On next Friday, I believe it's the 20, 24th, I will be doing a Profit or Parish 2.0 uh, live interactive workshop. Basically, what I'm going to do on that is you're going to have more intimate time to sit down with me, ask me specific questions on how we can scale your business and take it to another level. Now, I'm not charging much on that. That's only like 1997. It's only 20 bucks. If you smoke weed, that's a bag of weed. So you guys can definitely, uh, I'll leave the link in the description below. I'm going to show you guys on how to use Google to your advantage. So you're not hunting down all of your customers. Your customers are banging down your door looking for you. I use this, I could show you numbers, it works. There's a Google hack and it doesn't cost you nothing. It's free. It's free to do this on Google, but how many people use it and how do you use it effectively to get customers to find you and then start calling you? Um, so, is I'm going to show three easy hacks on how to use Google to get more customers, to get the customers to call you. Uh, the next one is going to be how to maximize and use holidays to increase sales. Because with all these holidays, we, we, we see it all the time. And I'm not talking about the holidays that are in November, December, like, you know, the classic Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Black Friday. No, no, no. You have President's Day. You have Martin Luther King Day. You have uh, Black History Month that you guys could be capitalizing off of. Uh, you guys could be rolling out AARP, you know, discounts, all kind of stuff that you could be using in your business right now to be making buku bread. You have, you have to use certain tactics and strategies to make the customer want to call you and want to do business with you. So that's going to be another thing that I cover in the Profit of Parish 2.0. And then the last one is going to be how to set your cash flow on autopilot. So definitely check it out. You know, I'll leave the link at the bottom below. If you guys have any questions, hit me up. You guys know it. And uh, peace, love, and happiness to all you guys. You heard? Peace.